Aries singles, hello and welcome to your weekly reading with Angelic Ascensions Tarot. My name is Angela. So this video is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And this is your March preview. So we're just going to gloss a little bit over the month of March to see what's coming in for you. Could be an air sign, an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini that's coming toward you. Someone that you haven't moved on from. You're still thinking about you're still thinking about this person. You still have emotional ties with them. Okay, but there could be some type of spying or there was some type of immature communication between you and this person in the past. Someone's feeling like they're like they have wasted their time in this relationship in the past. And they're feeling like someone could have, you know, sworn that they would not give this relationship a second chance, or someone is fearing that there's no second chance with this person. Okay, I'm seeing trust issues, like someone doesn't trust the situation at face value, so they feel like they have to investigate it. Someone could have been spying on the other one, investigating um, what's going on with this person because this person could have liked attention, liked the attention of other people. And, you know, you're coming out of this anxiety. You're leaving this anxiety behind, this constant worry, you know, because in the past, you were dealing with someone who was deceptive, okay? And they could have been a Gemini. But it looks like someone was not making a head over heart decision, you know? But I'm saying that someone is finally coming forward to give you that time and attention. This could be someone in the public eye, okay? That you were dealing with. Okay. Could be... Yeah, Aries, I'm feeling like some of you were dealing with a Gemini. Yeah, you had this on again, off again cycle with this person. Feeling like things were not going your way. Things were not going according to plan. And I'm feeling like someone was afraid to be all in. They didn't want to fully take a risk. They were kind of holding back. They don't want to fully invest in the situation. And maybe they feel like this connection between the two of you was not mutual. You know, this, um, there's still these emotional ties, but I feel like someone's kind of denying that there's these emotional ties because I'm seeing that someone wants to return to a situation. Um, to be an earth sign or someone could have earth in their chart, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I feel like someone <laughs> is procrastinating. They're kind of dragging their feet on the situation. They know what they need to do, but they... Uh, I don't know what this is about. Why are, why is there this procrastination? What's this procrastination about? Four of Wands. Maybe someone is trying to become stable financially. They don't have their situation together. And that's why they're trying to stall because maybe they don't have the money. Yeah, I feel like they're just trying to, to solidify something. They're in an unstable situation or someone is afraid to become unstable emotionally. They're afraid to completely invest, right? Because you got the fool card, like someone's not willing to take a risk and fully invest because they don't want to um, become unstable in their emotions. Like someone's kind of afraid to express their emotions fully in this situation could specifically be dealing with a Virgo with the hermit card two of pentacles I'm feeling like the situation was unbalanced in the past I feel like this could have been someone that just didn't know what they wanted they could have been a cheater a known cheater so this person could really actually know that this person was cheating on them. They're completely aware of what was going on, but I'm seeing that someone is going to come forward to have communication, you know, letting go of this emotional withdrawal. They're, they're coming forward to speak. This could be someone at a distance from you. This could entail traveling with the world card. This is also success. So this could be someone in the public eye, excuse me, that is successful. Or this could be a successful outcome to the situation between you and your partner. Four of Wands in reverse. 
which you have twice from two different decks. Instability. And this is someone afraid to become unglued and to fully invest in the relationship. They don't want these unstable emotions because I feel like either someone is unstable where they can't hold their temper or unstable where they are unpredictable as far as their response to a situation. Yeah, this relationship could have been one-sided where someone wasn't willing to be fully vulnerable in this situation. Yeah, someone was up to trickery. The Three of Swords in reverse. Someone feels remorse and <laughs> regret. I'm sorry, I'm only laughing because I almost dropped that whole deck. Um, someone wants remorse and regret about what played out in the past. Someone didn't feel nurtured or loved in this relationship. And it ended with someone feeling stabbed in the back. If someone felt betrayed, like, the, like someone didn't have their back. They didn't protect them. They didn't protect the integrity of the relationship. Could have been a cancer that you were dealing with. So if someone's moving, there could be some type of travel delay because someone doesn't have the finances, their pockets are unstable, or things just weren't moving forward and someone just came to the stark realization that, you know, it's just, it wasn't meant to be, or that's what someone is feeling. It doesn't mean that that's the actual case in the situation, but someone's kind of feeling that way. Um, someone realizes that this is a soulmate union but it's just that the situation became turned down upside down and there was a lack of balance here because I'm seeing that someone was here, <clears throat> excuse me, it was one-sided. Like only one person was completely investing and the other one was not willing to fully invest and become, um, because they, they're afraid to become unstable and put all their emotions out there. But what's coming toward you, what the potential is to coming towards you is the Nine of Cups. And the Six of Wands, um, wish fulfillment and victory. Because I'm saying that someone feels freaking awful. I'm sorry, I don't know where that came from. Someone feels bad about what happened in the past between the two of you. Someone's coming forward with a message. But they just don't know how to communicate it without showing too much emotion. Someone's afraid to really put their emotions completely out there and make a final decision. So this could be you, Aries, making a final decision about a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. If someone was around in this situation only out of convenience. Someone could have water in their moon or rising or Venus signs. So I'm seeing water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Queen of Swords, Air, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Ooh, and a three-party situation. Someone was unfaithful, but I'm seeing a reunion, a potential for a reunion, which turns out to work out in your favor with a victory. And someone giving you the, lavishing you with the time and attention that you deserve and giving you the accolades that you deserve in this relationship. But someone's afraid to be disappointed. They want commitment. But they're afraid to be disappointed. They want to appear like they're in control and that they're um, stable. Someone wants expansion and the Ten of Cups. They want the Two of Wands and the Ten of Cups. They don't want child's play. They don't want immaturity. They want expansion they want a family they want a future and with the devil card it could have been a capricorn or, or this could be someone with capricorn in their moon or rising or venus signs or they could be on the cusp someone's willing to put in the work in this relationship but someone's blocked someone has blocked the other one it could have been some type of petty conflict or this is inner conflict and someone just felt like they they were fed up and they walked away because it became too stressful, which is the overall energy of this reading. And then you have the hanged man where things are in limbo. Someone just does not know what, I can't even rightfully say that someone doesn't know what they want because they do know. 
They do know that they want victory, but they're kind of keeping things in limbo because they're afraid to show their true emotion and become unstable. Or like I said, someone's pockets are unstable and maybe they're working on getting their, their situation solid and getting it balanced because someone's pockets may be unbalanced their finances may not be where they need to be. So someone's afraid to come forward because they want to make it seem like they've got it all together. And they don't want to show any vulnerabilities. So while this person loves you, they care for you, they're having this inner conflict because their fears are haunting them. Okay, their fears have taken over and their fears have become a beast. They're looming over them. Someone could have been very careless with their words. You know, someone that didn't speak, didn't think before they spoke. But you have someone coming toward you and they're coming toward you quickly. But I feel like someone is kind of putting things off and they were delaying. Someone could be leaving a situation behind. Leaving a soon-to-be ex-partner. I'm seeing that you could possibly have children with this person and there's definitely a need for healing from the past because I feel like someone is afraid to open up because they've been hurt in the past. They're fearing that someone may have power over them and so that might be what this instability is about. They're afraid to open up because they're afraid to give their power over to someone else emotionally. I don't know, that's someone's emotional hang up in the situation. But I'm seeing that someone could have walked away in the past and said that this is it, but now they're changing their mind. Or someone's coming forward in the hopes of changing your mind because they're tired of things being in stagnation. I feel like there's some type of opportunity coming forward where it's like a, a new job opportunity, but where you're doing something that you love and you're in spiritual alignment with what it is that you're supposed to do so much so that it's it feels like a hobby rather than an actual job. Realizations and epiphanies. This person, while they feel like they don't have it all together, they realize that they are missing this soulmate union. So they're coming forward with a message. That they've taken forever to make a final decision. And it could be the earth sign that's taking forever to make a final decision because it could be because of, like I said, financial instability. They just don't have the finances to travel or they don't want to be vulnerable, <clears throat> excuse me, financially, because that could be what someone's insecurity is about. What's coming toward you is welcoming the new, new opportunities, maybe changing the way that you eat. But I'm saying that there is an ending with the three party situation and someone is realizing that they're stronger than they even know. <clears throat> As much as someone in the scenario tries to deny it, I'm feeling like there's pride written all over this reading. There's still these sentimental feelings, but I feel like someone is, like I said, they feel like if, they, if their emotions become unstable, they don't have control over their emotions. They feel like they're giving that control away to someone else. <clears throat> but I'm definitely feeling like there's pride issues. Remember, pride comes before a fall. Let's see. Yeah, see that? They feel, <clears throat> excuse me, the absence. They feel this void without you. They feel hurt without you. But they want to play the victim. Even though they realize that you're their soulmate, they want to feel like someone's playing the martyr, playing the victim in the situation. <laughs> and that might be why someone's giving the other one the silent treatment, because they want to play the victim. Okay, there's some type of change in home. 
situation. Someone could be relocating. Someone's coming home, returning home. Yeah, someone, it's all about self-love. Someone has been refusing to give themselves self-love and nurture one another. Okay, I'm seeing reconnection, even on a physical level. Self-sabotage. Yeah, see that? That's what I get with this card, see? I feel like someone runs off at the mouth. They don't have control over their words. And so I feel like someone, while they want this relationship, they sabotage the very thing that they want. I'm seeing three people in this card. Three, it's a three-party situation. I feel like someone knew that they were, this was their soulmate, but you know they intentionally pulled in a third party and ruined the foundation of the relationship. I'm seeing windfall as far as emotions and these sentimental feelings. I'm seeing also windfall with a career change for Aries. Aries, you're changing your career. <clears throat> Maybe you were in a job in the past where you weren't getting paid what it is that you deserve, but you're letting go of fear. <clears throat> Excuse me. And you're taking courage and you're moving forward and taking control over the situation to have a new beginning. <clears throat> Counseling. Maybe this is you being a wise, a wise counselor, or this is you going for counseling, okay? Because maybe you're trying to find the motivation, <clears throat> excuse me, to leave something behind in order to have a new beginning. I'm seeing that some of you, yeah, you have children with someone else. Support your life purposefully supports you. Freedom, you're free to choose. Books, your connection to your life. Per you connect to your life purpose through your involvement with books. This could be you reading new books, writing a book. Well, look at that career change. <clears throat> so, Aries, letting go of fear and taking courage are integral to your future. Counseling, talking to other people that are trustworthy and getting out of this self-sabotage. Yeah, I feel like someone is guarded and they're trying to protect themselves from being hurt. Because I feel like someone wants to be in control detach from this situation. In other words, let go of fear, let go of past drama so that you can objectively and clearly see the situation for what it is and not being guided by your emotions because I'm feeling like someone is very emotional, but they're afraid to lose control of their emotions. And so, yeah, detach from the situation, detach from your emotions like the Queen of Swords in order to make, you know, a discern what it is the next, what it is your next move is. Honor and trust your feelings because your intuition, trust your own intuition. Honor and trust your feelings because I'm seeing that there are these sentimental feelings and I feel like someone's afraid of expressing their emotions. Take your time making this decision because I'm feeling like, yeah, with the Page of Pentacles, take your time. <clears throat> I'm saying this, not procrastinate taking their time, but someone is taking their time, maybe procrastinating because they're taking their time. Um, but I'm saying someone needs to go forward fearlessly and take courage and take action on what it is that they need. Use your need to take action on rather. Use your imagination and you'll see the answer. And at the bottom, this is your life's purpose, this career change. <clears throat> Pay attention to your dreams. Listen to your dreams. Your intuition is guiding you. 
Ask Archangel Michael to help you with this situation. Prayer will help this situation. So ask your angels, rather than worrying, ask your angels for guidance. Ask God, ask the universe for guidance, but definitely there's a need to pay attention to your intuition because you're being divinely guided to something that's going to have a very um, positive payoff where you have the potential to come to a peaceful resolution with someone that you had drama with in the past. Aries partnership. This is both in your career and in your love life, new partnerships. Things are aligning for you, working out for you. Release jealousy. Someone has jealousy issues in the situation, clearing debts. That's, this is why this opportunity is opening up again, an opportunity to not clear just financial debts, but also emotional debts. Conscious consumer, only buying the things that you really need, right? Because finances could be a factor in this situation. <clears throat> Someone has control issues with spending, possibly. Obstacles and blocks are lifted. So whatever was blocking the two of you from reuniting is being removed, whether this was a person a thing, putting yourself in an abundance mindset, getting out of that poverty consciousness, detox your friendships because you have people that are jealous of you or there could be, take a look at your friendships. Yeah, look at that employment change, Aries. Ask for your needs to be met. This is praying, okay? Praying for what it is that you need. This is even asking for help from other people, asking for guidance, getting counseling from other people that are trustworthy and that want the best for you. Actions speak loudly. Express your love through your actions. Someone wants to see someone, they don't want to hear words. They want to see that you mean business by showing them action, by moving forward, by saying what it is that you're going to do. Being there when you say you're going to be there. They want to see results, not words. Honesty is essential. Like I said, someone wants honesty. They want their actions to speak louder than their words. And honesty, you are being a loving person. It isn't to be a loving person. It is important that we speak truthfully and in a loving manner. Like I said, someone was very reckless with the way that they spoke. Someone has a temper issue. Someone wants them to speak honestly and speak to them with respect. Be in the present and dream of the future. When we dream, everything is possible. Be in the present. Be in the present and dream of the future. So there's a need to focus on the here and now, not focus on things that played out in the past and um, harping on those things and dredging those things up. Not to say that you can sweep things under the carpet. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that there is a need for healing, but to stay there in the past and to never be able to move on from it could play a very significant issue in the relationship. Someone needs to demonstrate their love not just through physical, but also through mental stimulation, through their actions. Find out what's important to the people you love and act on it. The union of hearts, I'm seeing a reunion between the two of you. This is a soulmate union. Receive with love and appreciation. Receiving something lovingly from others is a way of showing love. Someone has to show how they feel not just say it because I'm saying that someone doesn't trust the situation. They feel like that the situation is too unstable. So they're not willing to completely take a risk in this relationship. Look at that. This is a spiritual partnership and someone's missing out on it. And this is God aligning things and putting things in 
to play. Someone's thinking about the other one. But I feel like one of you or both of you are stuck in the past as well. And that could be what those memories are about, partnerships and alliances. Remember I said you have partnerships coming into your life. So that solidifies it. Partnerships in your career and in your finances. I'm sorry, your career and your love life. Obstacles and challenges. Someone's afraid that everything is going to come crumbling down again. So they're afraid to take the next step. You have a number five change in direction. Something you've got to come out of your comfort zone. And you know, that's what you're being divinely guided to do. There's, there's definitely a need for change and accelerated motion, right? We're all here to learn spiritual lessons and we cannot consistently remain the same person. We have to grow. We have to transform and listen to our intuition because your intuition is guiding you. And once you listen to that intuition, you're about to see that accelerated motion into what it is that you want to do, something that you've been hoping to do. Whatever seeds you've been planting, it's like it's time to reap what you've sown. Okay, this is all destiny at play here because this is a soulmate union. Things are aligning. Things are lining up. It's completely out of your hands. Well, I can't say that completely out of your hands because you do have free will. You don't have to accept this person in your life. You don't have to take the advice here given by spirit. It's completely up to you. But I'm seeing that there's an opportunity for things to come back around again if you're open to receiving that opportunity. So that's what I'm seeing for Aries singles. All right, so let's go ahead and pull an advice card for Aries singles, sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign. Holy Spirit, there we go, High Priestess. Listen to your intuition, inner goddess, nurture yourself, take care of yourself. You know, don't be so fixated on the what, where, why, and when of the situation. Nurture yourself, work on yourself, and surrender this situation, trusting and believing that whomever and whatever, including a job that is supposed to be in your life, will be there. You know, God doesn't deny any good thing from us. It's, it's us through this self-sabotage that prevent and hinder blessings from coming into our lives. Undying love. It says the love that you have shared is eternal regardless of this situation. For some of you, that's the case. And at the bottom of the deck, just like I was saying, there's a need to transform. We can never just stay the same. Something's pushing and nudging us. You are experiencing enormous change right now, which brings great, great blessings. So, excuse me. <clears throat> That's what I'm seeing for you, Aries. The fire sign, the knight of wands, right, Aries? Someone could have been a player in the past, and we have the star card, Aquarius. This is being divinely guided. This is healing to a situation someone has to heal and there's a new cycle coming in for you and some of you need to go outside and get grounded and get centered maybe do some tai chi or some meditation when on a day when it's warm enough to do so but that's what i'm seeing for you aries singles so sorry your reading was too long i just wanted to make up for the fact that your reading was late all right aries Take care. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. I'll see you next week.